So, seems you know how to hold your own. I'd had my doubts when we first hit the road. <laughs> Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. I never get many complaints. It's just real rare these days. Find someone who's not willing to take things the way they're handed to them. Too many good folks not willing to get their hands dirty. And too many assholes taking advantage of it. Look at what happened at Diamond City. Before McDonough took over, it was a half-decent place to live. A little stricter than I usually go for, but not terrible. I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood. But then he decides he's gonna try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade. Mankind for McDonough. Before you know it, you got families with kids lining up to drag folks they call neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. You and McDonough knew each other as kids? Oh yeah. Guy's my brother. Grew up together in a little shack on the waterfront. Guy was the standard big brother. Entitled. Punchy. Liked to shove rotten potatoes down my shirt and slap my back. But I never thought he'd be capable of something like what they did to those ghouls. Why did McDonough campaign against the ghouls? Because he thought he could win. There'd always been a pretty clear divide between the folks living in the stands and those down on the field. I'm not convinced they didn't do it just to improve their view. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there, staring out the window, watching as the city turned on the ghouls. He didn't even look at me. He just said, I did it, John. It's finally mine. Should have killed him right there, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to call it off. He said he couldn't. He had nothing against the ghouls. He was just carrying out the will of the people. And he couldn't betray the voters. And then he smiled. That hideous fucking mile-long smile. He never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. What do you mean you didn't recognize him? I don't know. Just didn't seem like the guy I grew up with. When I'd first heard the rumors, he'd been swapped for a synth. Thinking back on that night, I thought it made a lot of sense. But now, I don't know. I don't think I buy it. I've seen him since then, and there's no way they copied him that perfectly. Even got his tight-ass walk. But at the time, I just needed to get the hell away from him. Him and that whole damn city. He murdered those ghouls. Him and that whole damn city. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave, but I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent chems, so I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there, but most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks, but after a while, they just disappeared. Folks in Diamond City signed their death warrants, and all the good people were willing to just sit by and watch. I felt like I was the only one who saw how screwed up things truly were, who couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Or, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is, and is willing to do something about it, it's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. I feel exactly the same, Hancock. It's been a hell of a ride thus far. Then here's to a long road, with plenty of ammo. Well, thanks for hearing me out. You probably weren't looking for a history lesson, were ya? You wanna hit the road? Hey, you, uh, got a sec? I need you to hear something. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, thanks, I, I appreciate it. It's just, being out here with you, it's made me realize. Most of my life to this point, I've been running out on the good things I got. I skipped out on my family, my life in Diamond City, took up with you just to get out a good neighbor. Hell, running from myself is what made me into, into a damn ghoul. But being here with you for the first time in my life, things have just felt right. And running is the furthest thing from my mind. I mean, I left Good Neighbor thinking I was gonna just sharpen up the old killer instinct. 
But whether it's fate or destiny or just goddamn coincidence, I ended up with someone like you. I turned one of the nastiest settlements in the Commonwealth into a refuge for the lost. I thought I'd done something I could hang my hat on. But being out here with you, it's made me realize just how small time I'd been thinking. And that maybe all my running, for my life, myself, maybe it wasn't such a bad thing after all. Running from yourself? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I didn't always look this good. The drug that did this to me, that made me a ghoul, I knew what it was going to do. I just couldn't stand looking at the bastard I saw in the mirror anymore. The coward who'd let all those ghouls from Diamond City die. Who was too scared to protect his fellow drifters from Vic and his boys. If I took it, I'd never have to look at him again. I could put that all behind me. I'd be free. Didn't seem like a choice at all. Turns out it was just me running from something else in my life. You may have run, but you always ran for a reason, Hancock. Been trying to convince myself of that for a long time. But hearing that coming from someone like you, I don't know if you understand what that means to me. So let me get to the point. Throwing in with you has been the best decision I've ever made. It's like I found a part of myself I never realized was missing. Which happens sometimes when you're a ghoul. If I hadn't taken up with you, I'd probably be in a gutter somewhere, getting gnawed on by rad roaches. You have been one hell of a friend. I know the feeling. You're a damn fine man, Hancock. I'm lucky to have you at my side. And God help any of them who get in our way. Well... I know I could stand to listen about how wonderful I am for the rest of my days, but it's probably worth us hitting the road. Thanks for hearing me out, friend.